first off, let's talk about uh, when you first came to North America to play in, well, in this country, but it started off with the Admirals in 2005. Yeah, that was 2005, and uh, it was a, for me, it was a huge jump from, uh, from Finland, and, and just, uh, you know, everything, you know, the culture and uh, all the differences that I've, uh, I was, uh, you know, I was used to in, in Finland, and uh, just, uh, you know, living by myself and uh, taking care of everyday life, uh, especially off the ice, I think that was the, that was the biggest thing, and, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but those, uh, those are some good memories that I, I, will, I will always have, and, uh, but at that time I was living with uh, Kevin Klein and, uh, and Paul Brown together, and, uh, and uh, those guys helped me a lot, and I, it made, made, made it pretty easy for me to settle in and, uh, you know, just uh, get things go going. At, at that point, had you visited North America at all? Had you ever left No, that, No, that was my first time. I, uh, first, I came to Nashville mm -hmm. for the training camp and uh, uh, stayed, the, stayed for the training camp and then uh, uh, went, went to Milwaukee and, uh, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. and. Uh, didn't really know anything about this country and uh, especially you know Wisconsin and uh, and uh, Milwaukee, but uh, but it was uh, it was a great surprise and uh, you know obviously you you hear all these things growing up about uh, about USA and uh, you know it's uh, so I was uh, I was pretty pretty nervous and uh, pretty excited at the same time when I when I came to Milwaukee. And your first look at the United States is in a bus, <laughs> <laughs> driving around the Midwest in a bus. Yeah, no, but that was, uh, that was great. I, I, I thought that, uh, you know, I, I, I still think, you know, playing professional hockey, the, the most fun I had was probably in Milwaukee and, uh, uh, you know, because, Why? because at that time so many, no, so many new things happened to me and, uh, you know, just living in a different country and learning the new language and all, all that kind of stuff and uh, you know and uh, especially the the schedule that you have in uh, in uh, in AHL playing a lot of games and and traveling around and you know using the bus and uh, planes at times and and spending so much time with your teammates so you you get really really close to your teammates and uh, I, I think that was the that was the best thing, and uh, I, I still have so many, so many great friends from uh, from those uh, those years. You were a quick study, the one everything. How hard did you have to work? I mean, you mentioned the language, or even on the ice. I mean, everything came to you rather quickly, which which is pretty amazing. Yeah, I, I think I got so much help. I, uh, I you know, obviously, I've been I, till this day. I, I've been working with Mitch Korn. Mm -hmm. uh, he's helped me a lot on the ice. Uh, and then uh, there's been so many people who's uh, helped me off the ice, and I, I think, I think uh, not everybody realizes that. I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, getting, getting used to that uh, off ice life, and uh, you know, the everyday life, and how to take care of uh, your bills, and you know, uh, open the bank account, you know, get the cell phone, you know, maybe. Uh, you know, every day, you know, go to the grocery store and uh, all those things. When when it's a new country and uh, uh, everything is new, it's it's kind of uh, it's almost intimidating. Mm -hmm. So uh, so with all those things, at first I, I always got help and uh, and uh, you know Kleiner and uh, Paul Brown or Brian Finley or Craig Class and Bri uh, Darren Hader. So many guys. They they would always we all lived in uh, in the same apartment and. And uh, spend a lot of time together, and uh, and uh, I didn't even own a car in uh, in Milwaukee until my last year. So, right. wow. so, so I was always uh, I, I was always uh, driving with other guys, and a uh, few times I actually uh, missed a missed a meeting or practice because I <laughs> I, I didn't have a car, so I, <laughs> I I I ran from uh, <laughs> ran from the uh, from the Platts, the old old Platts to the <laughs> to the Bradley Center. And, Oh, I got in trouble. With Claude then, or who was Yeah, it was Claude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell me, I'm gonna throw out some names at you and I want you to tell me your impressions on them. And we'll start with, with Claude Noel. Well, Claude, uh, till this day, I, I think he's, uh, he's the one coach that has, has had uh, uh, probably 
the most influence on me. I, I mean, at that uh, that point of my career, uh, for the first time in a professional league, I was uh, you know fully starter and uh, getting getting used to playing a lot and uh, and uh, you know getting you know having that kind of coach who trusts you and uh, but he was a coach that, that uh, likes to teach his players and uh, you know he. He's he's really I, he was the you know he was a totally different coach that I, I I've had before so I I thought that he had a he had a big influence on me. How about Lane Lambert? Same thing with Lane. Uh, one of the you know one of the nicest guys you you meet and uh, you know I'm I'm lucky to have him uh, here also here in Nashville and uh, and uh, with Lane I've uh, been together for uh, you know quite many years now and uh, you know got to know his family and all that stuff so I, I think that's great and he's a, he's a he's a great coach and uh, you know hopefully someday he'll, he'll be a, he'll be a head coach in uh, in NHL the captain your first year in Milwaukee was Greg Zanin what was it like with him out there the best beard ever i think <laughs> yeah 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 it's awesome uh, <laughs> bald guy and uh, big beard yeah. it's <laughs> He, he was a great captain, uh, always the first guy at the rink, uh, and uh, like I said before, that, that those years the group was so tight that, uh, uh, especially that my first year, it was like the, the f I remember going going back back to Finland after that uh, that uh, Gallic Cup final run, and uh, and just uh, I was uh, it was so overwhelming, you know, just thinking. Of Thing about uh, my time in in Milwaukee that first year, uh, because it was uh, so many so many things happening to me all the time. And but uh, yeah, and uh, Greg Sano was the was the the skipper of that team. So yeah, he, he I'm I'm glad to see him doing so well in the NHL too. When you look back, and, and now you've got some time to put from that, uh, as opposed to the the following summer when you went back to Finland. What stands out out about that team, and when? Because you ended up going up to Nashville towards the end of that year. Um, but when did you think that team was a special team, and that maybe it could make a run? Or was everything just so new and overwhelming that maybe you never even considered it? You just took it day by day. Yeah, I kind of took it day by day. But but since the beginning, it it had something that team. Uh, you know, just I've I've never been part of the part of team that that's so. Uh, uh, you know, everybody is such a good friends with each other, and uh, that you know we always spend so much time together, and uh, off the ice, and on the road, and everywhere, and and uh, you you could tell right away that there's there's something on this team, and uh, and but like you said, I, I actually I, I didn't know anything about the other teams, and I didn't know uh, what you know what kind of chances we, we might have for the for the for the great run we we actually had but so but 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 now it's easier to say because when you look back you, you kind of now you realize that that was a that was a special team your third year pro i think a lot of people thought you were going to end up being in nashville and that didn't work out you ended up playing pretty much every game for milwaukee but what was your feeling like when uh, when they told you you're going back to milwaukee well at first because you certainly ended up making the best of it yeah, yeah. It was uh, uh, at first it was a disappointment uh, not to come to Milwaukee, but uh, you know, obviously your goal is to be in NHL, and, and at first I was I was just mad at myself because I couldn't. Uh, uh, I remember that training camp, and I, I, I just uh, you know Dan Ellis just out, outplayed me, and uh, he deserved that uh, uh, that spot in uh, with Nashville, and and at first it was uh, it was tough, and uh, but. Uh, Eventually, with the help of, uh, talk, I talked a lot with Lane and and Mitch and and my teammates down in Milwaukee, and with uh, with help of them, I I was in uh, in a right frame of my frame of mind, and uh, and you know, I, I stopped uh, feeling sorry for myself and just uh, and worked hard, and uh, I, I knew that eventually good things will happen and uh, I now obviously looking back I, I think that was the best thing that could happen to me I uh, you know being a goalie and being from uh, from Europe and you know all those things it, it I, I think it takes just takes time and uh, and uh, you know so 
I, I guess uh, I guess I was fortunate actually.